All right, Pete, do me a favor, go and step out. Do this. Step out for me, please. No, I don't really want to go. Okay, I'm not asking you right now. Step hold out on, for me. Why, why? No, no, no. Can I, can I know why? Because you're not coming back on file, man. Hey, step come, out of the car. Can I know why? Because you're not coming back on hey, file for me. What does that step mean? Out. You can't you're not coming me. back on file. You can't okay, figure out who okay, you are. Listen, what do you mean you can't hey, figure out who I am? Because it's not coming back on file. You better come out now, dude. Take my phone. Take my phone. Hey. Okay. You going to cooperate or what? I'm going to cooperate. Okay. But you Put your stuff down. Get out. Can you stop holding it? You stop touching me. I don't want you reaching for anything, man. I'm not reaching for anything. I'm not reaching for anything. Okay, step out. Okay. Stop. Turn around. I'm not reaching for anything. Dude, stop. Turn around. Turn around. Hey, five nine six ten three. Stay in the car. And then he shoots and kills him point blank. Point blank. Put up the picture for a man. The cop has been charged. The August. 2022 incident, Officer Brad Lunsford responded to a 911 call about Presley Ease, a nurse who was accused of stealing a beer from a local gas station. Nurse Ease would lose his life in the encounter, and the officer Lunsford would be charged for voluntary manslaughter. Let me give you details of what happened. When the cop arrived at the scene, he approached the shirtless male who was completely completely unarmed and confronted him. The officers were not able to verify his identity at the time. The statement alleged the cop and his colleague are said to have forcibly removed the nurse from his car, resulting in a scuffle as he resisted arrest, according to the report. Now, there's a news release from the attorney general. Says, quote, Eze ended up on the ground on top of one of the responding officers during the ongoing struggle. Placed his hand on the second officer's taser, though it was not cycled or deployed against either officer. The news release claimed adding that Officer Lunsford then drew his service weapon and shot the nurse in the back left side of his head. At point blank range. Put it up. You literally have a cop who has shot a man in the back of the head. Okay? The body camera footage and a bystander video obtained by NBC News appears to show the officer placing the gun directly to the back of his head. The Attorney General Torres called the incident a tragedy and yet another example of poor police tactics resulting in the unjustifiable use of force. Local news reported that the officer surrendered, was taken into custody and was released. His his kids, excuse me, he is currently on paid leave. Did you hear me? He's still getting money. The other responding officer was not charged. Um, Civil rights attorney Shannon Kennedy Previously told KRQE about how the death has impacted the family, especially his child. He was a father of a two year old boy who would now have to grow up without a father. His wife is shattered. His family is shattered. Kennedy said to the outlet, He is from a large family back east and came to New Mexico to serve this community as a nurse. So you have one person who literally saves lives. You have another person who puts on a uniform every day. He's told he's out here protecting and serving. But he takes the life of the one who protects life by shooting this person in the back of the head. All right, we will bring you updates. Glad to see a charge should be murder, um, but we're glad to see a charge happen. Uh, and that charge could be enhanced. Thoughts? Definitely, uh, the charge should be enhanced. But what I saw there is uh, he was just literally terrified. Like he was, yeah. he was just scared. Like he really thought, like something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Oh, I got to get ahead of it. I got to like that's all that was. Which you know, above it being a shame that this man had to lose his life for no reason, it's pathetic. 
I mean, like, you know, like the, the way that that uh, black man can be feared just because of the color of their skin, because I don't he didn't look like he was some massive hulking person, you know, like you just scared him because he's a black man. That's all it was. So scared, in fact, that you like, you know, so it's just like, who the hell are we letting into the into the forces? You really want these these punks on your force? How, how long can you really defend these people who just look like cowards, like they're just weak, like, well, they're afraid of the people they're supposed to serve. So it's just, you know, the cycle continues. But yep. like you said, at least there was a charge and hopefully it does get enhanced. Yep. And we will bring you updates as they come.